Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a small monkey fist keychain. If you're new to making monkey fists, a monkey fist knot is tied around a spherical object. So I've got here a three quarter inch ball bearing. In our store we've got that size all the way up to two inch. Um, you don't have to use these, you can use a wooden bead or some people use a pool cue ball or other such objects. So for this project you're going to need some 550 paracord, just a couple feet of that. We also have some micro cord. I'm using white here, and that's just going to wrap around the stem of our keychain. And to keep the cord in place, we're going to use some electrical tape. We'll also use a snap hook. I like this brass one. It kind of has a nautical aesthetic to it. And then our ball bearing that we went over. For tools, I'm going to be using this monkey fist jig. It's not necessary for a keychain this size. You can also make a monkey fist on your fingers, and we'll put a link in the description to a video on how to do that. We're going to be using a couple fids to make things easier threading some cord through, and then of course our scissors and the lighter for the rest of our tools. Let's dive right in. So we're going to start by using one end of our cord. I'm going to leave about six inches on the end. That's going to turn into our keychain portion of the monkey fist. I have my spokes of the jig set up to fit a three quarter inch bearing. You can adjust it for larger ones if you are making a bigger one. Start by holding the cord down at one corner and wrap it around four times. I'm going to get a twist out of my cord. After you have those four wraps, at the first corner that you started at, this one right here, I'm going to wrap it past that corner and then down through the middle of my jig. At this point, we want to put our ball bearing in the middle. So we'll slide that in. Might want to roll around for a little bit before we get these next wraps on. So now we're going to do the same four wraps, except going this direction. So down through the middle, then we're going to bring it up through this other side between our spokes. So there's our first wrap. We're going to do three more of those. So there we have our four wraps. We got four across the top. You might want to double check to make sure you have four across the bottom as well. Now we're going to wrap it past this first spoke and we're going to be wrapping around this way. So I'm going to stand our jig up on end to show you what I mean by that. And I'm also going to be putting our type 3 fit on the end of our paracord. That just makes it go a lot faster. We'll be going down through this side. Pull all of the excess cord through. Should look like that. And then coming across the bottom and up through that other side. Make sure you get any twists out of your cord as you're doing that. So now we've made our first wrap. By the time we get back around to here, so now we're just going to wrap that around a total of four times as well. Alright, so we made our four wraps across. They're kind of squished together right here on the jig. I'm going to be taking it off at this point. So you can see our four wraps across that direction. You might notice that underneath, we've actually got five wraps because of our first starter end right here. But that's okay. Those five wraps are going to be hidden under our four going the other direction. So now comes the tricky part. We've got to tighten this all down evenly around our ball bearing. So what I usually do is start at one end and begin feeding the cord through, tightening it as I go. So we've got this loop sticking out here, and this is our short end. So I'm going to be tightening down that next loop, and then just working it back and forth, taking out the slack as I go, all the way down those four wraps around that direction. So 
now those ones are a lot tighter right around our ball bearing. We might have to go through this process twice, but for this first time, just keep on following your cord all the way around until all of your slack comes out the other end. All right, so we've tightened it all down. You saw it took two passes of tightening to get it all where it's supposed to be. Now we've got our two ends sticking out. This should be two adjacent or two opposite corners of, of one side. So now I'm gonna take that shorter end and thread our keychain onto there. You can decide how long you want this to be. I'm gonna make it just a couple inches. But I'm basically gonna fold that over and we're gonna be wrapping this middle portion in our micro cord. So to do that, we need to cut our cords down to size first. So I'm gonna clip one cord about here, and the other cord opposite it. If you're not sure how long to cut them, cut them a little bit long, because you can always trim them down later, but you can't make them longer. Cut our other one right there. And this gets a little bit tricky to hold on to while you're wrapping your cord, while we're wrapping the micro cord. So I'm going to use a little bit of electrical tape. Um, if you're adverse to using tape on a paracord project, that's totally fine, and you can do it without it. But this is going to make it easier. So I'm going to start with wrapping around just one strand. Then I'll add in that second one. Make it look nice and even and that third one. The other thing that this electrical tape does is it just keeps it nice and flat so that we don't have a, a bumpy wrap with our, our micro cord. So we've got two unfinished ends there. We'll just leave those for now. We'll finish them off with the, the rest of the project. We're gonna cut three feet of our micro cord. All right, now we're gonna be using a simple whipping. So we'll lay our cord across, leave a loop on one side, and bring it back. We'll want to leave a long enough tail to pull on that end, and a long enough loop that it's gonna stick outside of our wrap. We wanna go past our tape so we don't see any of the tape in our final product. And then we're gonna start wrapping it back on itself, going the other direction. I want to do this nice and tight. Once you get it started, it's a lot easier to keep going. Once you get to the end, go ahead and stick your end through your microcord loop that we left. We're going to hold those cords tight until we can pull our other end. This cord that we left, that's going to tighten down our loop. So it's pretty, we wrapped it pretty tight, and so it might be difficult to pull. So go and yank that all the way until it's tightened all the way down. You can even pull it a little bit further until it's sucked down inside of the weave. All right, now we can go and cut the end of our cords. Leave just a little bit showing there to melt. And here is our finished keychain. So like I said earlier, you can definitely change up some of these parts. You don't have to do this whipping with the micro cord. You can just make snake knots or whatever you want to do. And the ball bearing you can replace with a marble or wood bead, and this you can even just use a simple keychain. So it's really versatile. You can make it match a lot of different styles. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, 
please leave us a like and subscribe if you want to see Paracore tutorials more in the future. We put out videos twice a week, cover things like knots and how to make things out of Paracore, like bracelets and keychains. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again in the next one. Mm -hmm.